Hello, and welcome to episode number 32 of the Marriage Coach Podcast, where we are here to help you take, take your, your relationship, relationship from surviving, surviving to thriving. Actually, for the whole month of March, we're going to be discussing remembering the vows. talking babe and we were talking about vows mm -hmm. we were talking about the importance of vows to a marriage to a marital relationship and we were just discussing what vows are and we realized that you know sometimes people may not even understand the significance of vows and what they really mean vows are words that are exchanged by a couple on their wedding day during the cer marriage ceremony. And these vows are words that you express to your significant other about your intent, your promises and your commitment yeah. to your marital relationship. Yeah. And these vows are also the basis, the foundation for what our relationships, our marriages are built on, what we use as a reminder to help us to continue to be loving and kind and and the promises that we make to our significant other right. on that day keeps right. us mindful of how we should treat them and how we should honor them and how we should love them. Right. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, when we think about vows, we have to really realize that, I mean, vows is much more than just words. I mean, it's a commitment. And oftentimes, I think a lot of times, you know, that's why we want to do this for uh, for the whole month of March, actually March Madness. We want to do this for <laughs> the whole month of March is uh, remembering the vows because this is very important uh, in our relationship, especially on that wedding day. On the first day when you get married, there's so many things going on in your head. I mean, you're nervous, you know, okay, my life is getting ready to change forever. So even when we're dealing with these vows, I mean, sometimes there's things that we're thinking about that's really, you know, then we have our family around and we're standing before, you know, hundreds and thousands of people and there's so many things going on. I mean, it's so easy, you know, what you're saying and not really right. thinking about mm -hmm. what you're saying. So what we want to do, we want to go step by step throughout the month talking about the, the marriage vows. This is very important. And I think there's something that we need to remember. It's so easy to forget, you know, sickness and then health. It's so easy to forget when it's when it's really happening Absolutely. in your life, because this is what's happening. I mean, in the in, in the beginning. We basically saying our vows mm -hmm. and we saying what we feel in that moment. Yes, yes. I mean, you're in that moment. I mean, you just getting married, you fall, you're in love and you're mm -hmm. not even the way you feel about that individual on that day, you on look into day, their eyes yeah. and say, I do, you know, things subject to change very quickly and drastically, you know, within the relationship when the realness setting, you know, there's two becoming, becoming one. one, we're becoming, mm -hmm. uh, we've been married almost 23 years and we still Becoming. becoming. I mean, yes. we still like we we still trying to get there, you know. And I just really thankful, you know, just us, you know, God allowing this platform, uh, marriage coach, uh, for us too, for our marriage coach family to share our lives of 23 years and even moving forward to you know the next level. Marriage vows is very important. Absolutely. And I think um you said something about that day. Oftentimes on the wedding day, sometimes we're in the hustle and bustle of the moment. Right. And uh, mainly, you know, vows are traditional in Christian culture we uh -huh. believe that we are making that vow in the presence of God. So not only are we telling words or saying words of intent, these words should come from our heart and they are talking about our intentions to the person that we are marrying, our commitment to the person that we're marrying, what we promise to the person that we're marrying. If I think back to our wedding day, when you say, I Shante take Cedric to be my lawfully wedded husband, yeah. to have and to hold, you know, this day forward, richer for poor, sickness and in health, till death do us part, uh, forsaking all others, all of these things. And even over the years, people have begun to written, write their own vows because, you know, people don't want to do you know the tradition the traditional vows that their grandmother did or their grandfather did or some people don't want to have certain words said in their vows like love honor and obey so we change it to things but at the end of the day it's important that we remember 
on your wedding day, you are standing in the presence of all of the witnesses, who, however many people attend your wedding, they are witnesses. Mm. If you get married at the courthouse, you still have a witness wherever, even if there's only 10 people attend your wedding, you have witnesses. So you're standing before all these witnesses and you are saying these solemn words, solemn means from your heart, these words that say, this is what I intend to give to this person. This is what I intend to do for this person. This is what I commit to give to this person. And this is for how long? Because for me and for us in our mind, the way we see it and the way we believe it is that marriage is a lifelong commitment. And we do understand that, you know, there's times when things go a whole nother way. But, you know, for today, we're talking about what the intention of the vows are and those intentions of the vows are to remind us i think the vows are uh are like that little string you tie on your finger we can use them to help us remember how to appreciate our spouse we can use them to help us to remember that we promise to love them in spite of we promise to cherish them in spite of we promise to forsake all others we promise to give ourselves to them only so all of these different things we have our vows as a foundation because for me, that's what it has been. And Cedric, you can chime in for you. For me, that's what it has been. Our vows is a foundation for what our entire relationship is built on. And in order for the rest of the relationship to stand those, the foundation, the ground has to be solid. Those have to be the things that we hold on to. Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes those vows, I mean, it was bigger than just me and you. Yeah. It was bigger than just me and you. I mean, because I got to be honest. I mean, there was times in our relationship, I'm pretty sure you can say the same thing on your end. There was time in the relationship, like, you're like, man, what in the world did I <laughs> did give, I my, give you know? myself into? Right. And, you know, so you have those moments or whatever. So when those times come, that's why I think the Bible is very important. Yes. And yes. it's very important that you're doing it and realize you're doing it before, before God. Because if not, I mean, if it's about self yeah, and if you're not God-fearing, I mean, man, you, man, we'll be jumping out of relationships and, you know, in our relationships so quickly um, because, you know, we made this about us. But when you make it about what the vow is, it's like you, you presenting this before God, you're standing before God, making this vow, making this promise, like I'm making it to you, Mm -hmm. but God is my witness. Right, right, right. So it's like when you work my nerves, I have to remember (laughs) That I did this, not just to you. I didn't make this promise to you. Yeah. I made this promise before God. And this is the way I see it. You were talking and I it made me go, it took me back to when we were talking about it on a Saturday morning. And what I what what we talked about in the conversation was that sometimes people do not understand the severity or the seriousness true. of the vow. Yeah. And for me, it's what I feel like is we're Christians, we're believers. Yeah. God is your father. And I made this promise to him about how I was going to be to his son. I made this commitment to him about how I was going to stand beside his son. I made this commitment to God about how I was going to love his son, how I was going to support his son. So I'm talking about the maker and the creator of the entire universe. He's your father. And I married his son and I made, I made a commitment. I said, this is my intent. This is what I will do. And so that, that's something that holds a weight in my life that nothing else can supersede because I know what I promised your father and I have to make good on that promise. I have to do everything within my power to uphold my end of the bargain that when your father uh, gave me to you on Mm -hmm. that day and gave you to me, this is what I told him I would do. And that's how big it is for me. And I think that in the times when, and and we got married young. So that idea of what did I get myself into? You're talking about a 19 year old and a 20 year old Mm -hmm. coming together to create a life, never left home before. Now we're uh, living together and we're adulting on our own. So that was, that was a time of some growing up. There was some time of some maturing. There was some time of, I want my way. I can't have my way, or I want to do my own thing, or I don't want to ask you this. This. I don't want to tell you all of that. So we literally grew up together. So those vows being that foundation and thinking about it like this, I'm young, but I promised his daddy 
that this is how I would love him. Mm. I'm, I'm young, but I promised his daddy. And when I'm talking about his daddy, if you just tuning in and didn't pay attention, I'm talking about God. Yeah. I promised his daddy how I would support him. I promised his daddy that I would stand beside him. I promised his daddy that forsaking all others, I would love him only, that I would give myself to him only. Though That's how deep it is for me. And I think that when if that's the center or the foundation, when times get rough and times get hard, you go back to that and yeah. you revisit that and it helps you. It reminds you of what you committed to, what you intended to, and it gives you the strength to say, okay, what do we need to do? Even in the bad times, what do we need to do to be better so that I can uphold my end of the bargain? What do we need to do to be stronger together so that we can live out the commitment that we made to each other? Yeah, so I think I think that's a good point uh, to put there. The first thing you want to do is remember. Yeah, because it's the thing. I mean, times will get hard. Things will get happen. Yes. Circumstances will happen. There's going to be times you're trying to figure out how the bill is going to be paid. There's times where where you we're not going to see eye to eye. Yes. And things is going to go on, you know, in our minds. There's going to be uh, things that come into place, you know, friendships and jobs and all these different things. And so I think it's very important for us to always go back to that moment and remember whether remember revisit. I mean, we have to yes. go back to that place, go back to that time when we stood before the mm -hmm. father and said, you know what, I'm going to treat your daughter like this. I'm mm -hmm. going to treat your son like this. This is what I'm going to do. This is my commitment. And this is how I'm going to do it. And I think, and I, and I think that's the key It's just mm -hmm. really remembering that because I think oftentimes, sometimes, when we're dealing with things in our life, sometimes we lose focus in the vow we made. Yeah, yeah. We lose focus in that promise we yeah, made. Yeah. And now we're just focused on, instead of that promise we made, now we just focus on what we're dealing with right situation. now. Mm -hmm. You know, what we're dealing with right now, the current situation right now, what's going mm -hmm. on right now. And we lose focus in what we said prior is like out of the window. Mm -hmm. And that shouldn't be. So that's why... You know, on this month, this month, the month of March, we're really going to deal with um, with the vows because this is very important and it's so easy to forget. It's so easy to forget. It's so easy to forget that promise that you made before the father. And I believe I believe that just from the experience in our marriage, uh, one of the things we did in the beginning of our marriage, I mean, we've always we've taken the vows very seriously. Yes. And I believe that the vows is what got us to where we are right now. Absolutely. And I, I believe agree. the vows is what's going to get us to where further, God yeah. is taking us. But I think because we honored those vows, God honored our marriage. Yes. And God under our marriage, I mean, he really, man, God looked out for us and he had so much favor, you know, in every aspect. I mean, since, I mean, like I say, two young kids, 20, 19 years old, not knowing anything about the world and God just gave it to us. You know, he... You know, he made things that were supposed to be complicated. He made it easy, mm -hmm. you know, and I believe it's because that promise, because yeah. we stood before him mm -hmm. and we remember that promise. And I think one of the things, I mean, like the church we have on that uh, that says love, I think this is very important. And this one thing, you know, just to add, you know, to what we're saying today, I mean, love, love, uh, you know, just really getting this in our head. You know, really understanding this and remembering this, that love is not a feeling. Mm -mm. You know, love, love is the, the love is a decision. decision. Yeah. It's a decision we make. So so the thing about it, basically, it's not a feeling. Mm -mm. It's a decision I make on how I'm going to treat you. Mm -hmm. It's the decision I make on how I'm going to respect you. And in doing that, you've been the daughter of the most high God. Mm -hmm. You've been the daughter of the father. I now I'm showing him because I love him that I'm going to do you right. Absolutely. That I'm going to treat you right. That I'm going to treat you like a queen that he made you to be. And I think those are things that's important. So when we're really looking at relationships, period, when we're looking at vows and things like that, period, I mean, we really have to look at, man, who who did we make this promise to? Mm -hmm. If I made this promise only to you, I'm mean, we in big trouble. We're in big trouble. I mean, this relationship is in big trouble. That means God is nowhere in it. So we have, you know, the battle just really reminding us and keeping it, you know, keeping our relationship and our marriage God centered, mm -hmm. God centered, because it's not about, you know, your imperfections or my imperfections, because God knows that we are both imperfect. imperfect. Mm -hmm. We're both imperfect people. We make mistakes. We say things. Uh, sometimes we say the wrong things. Sometimes we say things we don't mean. Mm -hmm. Sometimes in the difficult moments, it's easy to forget the vows. It, you know, sometimes when things happen, it's easy to forget that you promised 
um, to do a certain thing. It's easy to forget that um, regardless of what this person is doing, you promise something or regardless of how the situations look that you promise you made a solemn vow. Mm. A this is this is a covenant. A covenant is something that is a an agreement that is far beyond anything like a contract. Like a contract can be broken, a contract can be voided. A covenant is not the same. A covenant is something that is not to be broken. Any covenant that God made between Himself and His people is not to be broken. It will happen. It will go according to the way He said it does. You do your part, I do my part, and here's what the outcome is going to be. And one thing I believe that the vows teach living out the vows remembering the vows oftentimes it exposes the things within ourselves mm. that we need to do better yeah. oftentimes it exposes the insecurities my lack my issues the things that need to be better within me and um i feel like marriage will your living out your marriage vows will do that for you it'll help you to be better if you continue to say in spite of you know, the golden rule that we're taught as little bitty kids in Sunday school, treat others as you would have them to treat you. Yeah. If you would notice in a wedding ceremony, the male makes the makes a vow. He has certain things that he says. The woman makes a vow and she has certain things that she says. You're saying the vow to each other. The words are spoken to each other, but the covenant is made in the presence of God. So the agreement is made between the two people and it's in connection with God. And if you think about that, you're constantly being reminded to treat this person the way you would want to be treated, yeah. to love this person the way you would want to be loved, to give to this person. Women, our vow set talks about respect. Men, the vow talks about loving. The vow talks about giving of yourself. Th these are the things that we have to be intentional about. You might not even remember your wedding vows. Go back and watch a wedding video. Go back and watch a wedding CD, DVD, whatever you have, and listen to the vows that you made, the intent, the promise, Promise the solemn covenant between you and your significant other and God and ask God, ask God to help you to live out those vows because God helping you to live out those vows is definitely going to do a work in you. Me wanting to be a better wife, wanted to be the wife that supports Cedric, wanted to be the wife that gives to Cedric, wanted to be the wife that respects him. Mm. That means me working on me all yeah. the time. Yeah. So that means me constantly, we say it all the time, presenting a better version of myself in the relationship. So as long as I'm better and I'm adding a better me to the relationship and he's his vows is helping him to be better and he's presenting a better version of himself to the relationship. The relationship itself has to be better, has to get better, but we cannot forget what our part is in this. This is two people coming together to play their role. And the vow is very important. I mean, I'm trying to, I'm really sitting here trying to think of a word that I can use that can make it even more significant so that the punch can hit harder than important. Because if your vows are not centered, if your vows are not the foundation for your marriage, there's going to be a problem. If those vows are not so seen in the eyesight that it's a commitment between the two of us to God that we did this in the presence of God and all these witnesses if we see it that way it will help us to live it out living out your vows looking at them this is what I've intended this is what I committed to and now I'm living to walk it out yeah I wonder how many people actually do because I know we didn't get a copy no. of our marriage vows and, but and I, I've done weddings and I never gave copies right but that's that's a good idea because no. You, I mean, I'm talking about even making it like a gift type of thing, yeah. printing out the vows, giving it to them in nice the frame. In frame yeah, yeah, put it on a nice paper, give it to them in the frame, because this is something that, you know, I think about the movie, The Love Dare and things of that nature. When the uh, men in the movie were talking about writing, the man talked about writing down things that he loved about his spouse. But having those vows written down to constantly remind you, having a, a beautiful picture of your vows hanging in your home as a constant reminder in the rough times, in the hard times, even in the good times, yeah. something is something to mm -hmm. benefit the two of you, even in the good times, the bad times, the ugly times 
time, whatever it is, something to remind you of the commitment and the intent that you promised yeah. before God on your wedding day. I think that would be awesome. Yeah, because I, I really feel like in me personally, I feel like uh, the lack of understanding what the vows mean, because I think a lot of people's uh, marriages for some people, the wedding day and the marriage is nothing but uh, sealing the deal that, you know, I'm only going to be with you. Yeah. And, you know, it's more from a mindset that even if, if this don't work, I will just break up too. Uh, yeah, you know, it's not from a mindset that, you know, like, I mean, you go into the military, you got to swear in and you don't just get to decide you're going to walk away. Yeah. No, you have to, whatever years you commit to, this is the military, whatever years you commit to, you got to serve those years. And then you go to the end and they release you. You get your ETS date or yeah. whatever your time to leave. Yeah. You don't just, but for a marriage, there is no ETS that, you know, it's supposed to be till death do you part. But I think when you understand it to that severity, maybe it'll help some people be more mindful of how quickly, because I think a lot of times we enter into marriage covenant without understanding what we're doing and when we enter into this marriage covenant without understanding the seriousness of the vows and the commitment that we're making just like you solemnly swear to uh, uncle sam when you're going into the military you're solemnly swearing you, to you know what that means and when you, you don't, know what that means. when you don't make good on your commitment, you AWOL, you, you can be ch uh, charged with whatever, because you did not make good on your commitment. And thinking of that in the mindset, when we see it that seriously, maybe we won't be so quick to um, jump or we take marriage more seriously before we make that commitment to jump in and marry someone. We'll think about what does it mean looking at this person what does it mean for me to love, honor, and cherish them for as long as we both shall live? Maybe they should receive the first copy. People should receive the first copy of the vows in the marriage coaching yeah. and counseling session. Counseling. So that counseling. way you have this paper so you can look at this before you decide that we're going to set the date. Yeah. And then on your wedding day, when you decide, yes, yes, I'll give, I can love this yeah. one for the rest of my life. I could be with this one, forsaking and, all things. And I, th I think it should be done before you start making plans and start yes. buying the dress and all that. Because I mean, if you stay, if you don't, if, if you look at them vows like a week or two before then, you just spent all this money, mm -hmm. you know, your whole, your wedding party then spent all this money. Yep. I mean, if you- Now you uh, in by circumstance yeah, I mean, because you, you done spent too much and yeah, you just you, gotta be in. Yeah, yeah. You, done, you, you done put, you done invested too much into it. So most likely, so the best thing is to really, you know, really, when you consider, when you consider, if you're single right now, if you're single, I'm talking to single people, if you're single right now and you're not in a relationship or you're in a relationship and things are getting serious, marriage vows that, that I personally use uh, when I'm uh, performing a wedding ceremony, um, I'm, I'm going to put that in the show notes and I want you to look at that. And, you know, for our married couples, I want you to look at this with your spouse and I want you to recommit yourself, rededicate yourself and say, you know what, baby, hey, you know what, hey, and maybe I didn't quite understand this, uh, I, you know, but you know what, here we go, before God, yeah. we're going to, and have a marriage vow in your living room, have a marriage vow between you and your, Renewal, you, and your yeah. you and your partner, renew it right mm -hmm. now, I mean, work on that relationship, no matter what happened, I mean, even if somebody stepped outside of their marriage, uh, you know, in the past, you know, come together and say, you know what, man, these vows, these vows mm -hmm. say, you know what, I will love you and you only. Let's let's do this. Let's do this and commit yourself. It doesn't matter how tough it got. You know, just give it a shot. Give it a shot. And man, we we definitely in prayer with it. each and every one. Our hearts go out to you know anything that happened. You know, within the relationships of every listener that's listening. Um, you I mean, share this with someone. Um, and you know, we, 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 we're going to do this challenge together. You know, I'm going to read, uh, the vows I use to uh, right now, I'm going to read the whole thing. And okay. I want you to think about this, even as being, uh, you know, single, you know, maybe, you know, in a relationship or in the verge of getting married. And maybe you stumbled upon this podcast, you, you guys been dating and you're getting married later on this year or next year, you're thinking about getting married. I want to, I want you to, I want you to keep this in mind. I want you to repeat after me. 
I, Shante. I, Shante. Take Cedric. Take Cedric. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. From better or for worse. For better or for worse. For rich or poor. For rich or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Forsaking all others. Forsaking all others. Keeping yourself. Keeping myself. Only to him. Only to him. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. So as long as we both shall live. So as long as we both shall live. And um, everything you just said, I say the same. <laughs> Kiss your bride. <laughs> all right there it is folks for everyone listening or watching head down in the comments section and leave us your thoughts your input on the marriage vows the marriage vows that cedric uses when he performs wedding ceremonies the marriage vows that i just repeated after him will be in the show notes and we want to know your thoughts have you ever thought about the importance of the marriage vows if you are not married do these vows scare you what are your thoughts share your thoughts with us we want to hear what you have to say we want to thank you for joining us today on the Marriage Coach Podcast. If you found the information helpful, we want to invite you to subscribe. Don't forget to click the like button and turn on your notifications so you will be notified when we upload a video every week. If you're listening on iTunes, rate the podcast and leave a review. That helps us get the word out. We want to invite you to head on over to our leadership podcast, Lead to Greatness, where my husband is interviewing entrepreneurs and leaders every week. So we want to thank you so much for joining us today on the Marriage Coach Podcast. Looking forward to hanging out with you again on next week as we continue to help you take your relationship from, from surviving, surviving to thriving. Bye. See you next week. week.